what is up guys welcome back to another video uh this one is about linux because i guess i'm currently you know using xema on linux but this is more like about closing a really cool pull request because it didn't meet your specific needs now for those who don't know this is what this pull request does uh fixes the darkness also allows certain effects to work uh skybox fixed shadow fixed not only that but the armor looks so much better uh the water is fixed look at this like it's freaking night and day and there's also other things that it fixes as well so if we head in here you can see that like the atmospheric effects are fixed the game in its entirety is pretty much looking the way that it should and it's absolutely brilliant as you can see this was a major like look at that xbox here's the thing with the pull request itself i mean that was a regression clearly but he managed to fix it probably later on look there's no shadow and now there is one and again it fixed the shadow in this game i can i don't remember its name it has something to do with that little evil squirrel like the fixes are pretty clear and they're pretty easy to see most times and it's really nice have the game in a working order but the main problem with everything is look look at that look at that the pull request is closed and the reasoning behind the pull request being closed for my previous comment i'm not planning to merge these changes without adequate testing that addresses the root of the problem we need to further understand and i get this needing to understand what causes the problem in general but these are pretty damn good fixes and they're very accurate to the xbox themselves which means that these fixes themselves could actually end up being accurate because they don't regress anything else they actually improve more than they regress which i find hilarious and i'm surprised no one tried doom 3 because i'm gonna try doom 3. so the rpm didn't build which kind of sucks but it is what it is so instead, we're going to be installing Ba to install what we need running pip as root. Just, I think it's already installed. Yeah, it is. Just had no icon. Going to click here. Going to install the app image. Going to select the app image. And I am going to find out where it is, which it should be at the bottom. Yes, it is. And there we go. And it's going to be going into uh, games. Oh, I hate when it does that. OBS, stop. Proceed. And there we go. Now it's installed. Because of that, it should show up here. Ah, many of you are probably enjoying this sound. Okay. So let, let's boot up Halo 2. Can I just click games and then get here? And then I'm gonna just add this here so I can grab Halo 2. Right, let's have some fun then, shall we? So this is supposed to be visually accurate now. We're going to use the default profile we're not going to sign in and i do notice that it's a bit slow so what we're going to do is we're going to create a snapshot and where's the snapshot create not doing it oh um i forget how but i guess this will be fine let's go to new campaign let's just jump into heroic real quick let's knock this down to 5x resolution it actually loaded pretty quick which is a miracle considering Yeah. 
Yeah, look at it. All the effects are working. Wow. This actually looks like it should. I'm sorry to do this to y'all. But I can't live without the uh, 16 by 9. I will do a patch later for the game. High charity looks like high charity. This truly is a great pull request. The lights are working. Oh, this looks so good. I'm gonna turn the volume up. Why was it not destroyed with the rest of their fleet? It fled as we set fire to their planet. Cool. All right, we're gonna skip this. Well, I guess it was all obsolete anyway. Sky's working. Your new suit's a Mark Six. Just came up from Songnam this morning. Try and take it easy. I'm gonna go into. Well, I can't go into settings. Until you get used to the upgrades. Okay, let's test your targeting first thing. Please look at the top light. Good. Now look at the bottom light. Okay. All right. Look at the top light again. That's it. Now the bottom one. I'm going to put okay. the 60 FPS patch on this. Everything checks out. Stand by. I'm going to offline the inhibitors. Move around a little. Get a feel for it. When you're ready, come meet me by the zapper. just won't make a snapshot and it's making me mad because to get like the proper performance I hey, need a snapshot now this issue's still there pay attention because I'm only going over this once this station will test your recharging energy sheets. all right uh everything looks really good sky all of that I don't know. It's pretty easy to get down to the first level. You don't really have to do much, so. Step on in, I'll show you. I guess I have to do that. There's something just super nostalgic about playing this game. I hate using that word. But there is. For some reason it just makes a person feel alive. Hey, hey, you're the slacker, buddy. I know what TV show you're from. It's just like... It feels like it used to. And it looks like it used to. Remaster looked cool. But I gotta be honest, wasn't happy. It just didn't have that same feel, you know? Oh, I missed one. Oh, wow, that effect worked. Do you see that? Cool. I can't make it happen now. Boom, by Athens. Alright, I don't like this bug though. This bug still sets me off a little bit. But I'm gonna continue onward. My favorite part as a kid was uh, finding certain, you know, areas that you can just bypass, you know? This is one of them, but I just can't remember how to do it, and because uh, it's been such a long time. Not to mention his jumps are really weird. I think I did that? I'm not sure. Or maybe it was... Oh, I almost had it. Yeah, no, I can't remember. More nostalgia? This was my playground. Like, going everywhere you possibly could in this one area. Getting up there and going up there. Like, you could go anywhere in this map from this one place and it was hilarious. You could load things you weren't supposed to load. And again, this bug pisses me off, but it is what it is. You can get on that ship if you wanted to. 
right? Like, the it was endless what you could do. And I miss every second of it. Like, no, you're not allowed to go up there. Ah, uh, can't do it. But there are ways, if I remember correctly, unless that was just the PC version, which I completely broke. I believe it's to get up there. Yep, okay. First one's done. And I think it's this jump. Messed that jump up so bad. There we go. Ah, uh, you can see the block right there too, which is annoying. I'm not sure if I'm running a fixed version or not, but you can get around all of these. No, I think it was to go on the ship and then head that way. I want to try it, but at the same time, I want to get to the ground to make sure the sky works. I think in a nutshell, getting to this point was my favorite. It's like, ooh, you arrived. <laughs> and the first time I ever played Halo 2 was on PC, by the way, because I was a PC gamer. Still, I'm a PC gamer. So when I first saw this cutscene, I was just blown away. Oh, this looks so good. Don't want to know. 0 0.2 seconds, by the way. The carrier shield is down. I'm in position and ready for immediate assault. Negative, Commander. Not against a ship that size. Not on your own. Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb. Oh, goosebumps. <laughs> oh, man. Reliving this game is just amazing. Like, I can't even skip the cutscene. We're just going to sit here and we're going to watch it, okay? <laughs> this is going to be amazing. I know what you're thinking, and it's crazy. The real-time cutscenes were the so, best. Stay here. I like crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Like, look at that. The shadows are much lower resolution back then, so yeah, I guess not all shadows are upscaled. And this part was always laggy. Well, not on the Xbox, I mean, it was just in this emulator, there's a couple of performance issues. What happens if you miss? I won't. I won't. So cool. Oh man, geeking out over here, isn't it fun? Wow. All right, this video is getting too long. I had to skip the good part. I'm sorry. Well, that was the good part. Ah, oh, the skyworks. Johnson, there you are. Hi. Can I, uh... Thanks. That hurts, Chief. That hurts real bad. Oh, suck it up, Johnson. You're fine. Jesus! Hostile down low! That was a beat down. Yeah, it actually looks correct. Last time I played this, there was no sky. I didn't have a shadow. So this is a huge improvement. All right, so we got to where we needed to. I'm gonna hit save and quit, even though I love this game so very much. And we're gonna eject. And I'm gonna go put in Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Okay, so I'm gonna get to the point where I can see the shadows working on the character and then we're done. We're not gonna be playing that much 
because I don't like this game. And you can judge me for that if you want to, but I just don't like this game. Okay. And I don't know if we need to force 16 by 9 or we can just, we're just going to do native because I find this funny. All right, well, <clears throat> the shadows are working, which is nice. There's shadows under the mushrooms and under everything else, too. So there you go. There's improvements. Yeah, probably is. I'm going to inject this. It's, again, not my favorite thing. Now, oh, man, what to do? I mean, this is this is a lot of fixes in a single pull request to just throw in the garbage. You know what I mean? So hopefully he ends up reconsidering and they work together and they find a way through this because that would be the best option. Like you've been dragged close to a fix. You don't just toss it in the garbage. You investigate it fully. It would be great for the emulator. It'd be great for the community that surrounds Eximu. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.